Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Powerful Man Show. I am your host, Doug Holt, with my co-host and founder, Tim, The Powerful Man Matthews. Tim, Happy New Year, brother. How you doing? Happy New Year, my friend. I'm doing well. Uh, well, you know what? In fact, I am um, doing much better than I was doing this what day is it today. I think it's Thursday, Friday. Oh, my God. Seven days ago, Doug, I was curled up in bed like a little baby boy just thinking I will pay any amount of money to get my health back right now. Um, so I'm doing much better than then, uh, but in terms of actual usual, what I'm used to feeling on a daily basis, I'm about I'm about fifty percent, I'd say. Yeah, well, Tim, that's an interesting. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. It's an interesting segue there of something you said. So I'm going to change the topic for today. Um, okay, okay. You said something that really stirred something in me, and I've heard it so many times, um, especially from successful men like yourself. Because I would pay anything to get X, Y, Z back, right? I would pay anything to get my health back. I would pay anything to get my relationship with my wife back. I would pay anything to get my relationship with my kids back. Those are the things we hear most commonly. Now, Tim, I hear it mostly in health and relationships. Do you hear the same thing? Yes. Now, when you think about this, we think of ourselves as, I mean, you're a hard-driven guy. I'm a hard-driven guy. We, we, we have no problem pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps and getting, getting stuff done. That's not an issue at all for either of us. And, and most of the men that are listening to a podcast like this are going to be in the same boat. However, how often do we neglect those key areas, right? Our health especially and our relationships. Not only that, but how often, especially for the men that are listening to this possibly, do you put things off because of some greater day, right? Some better day later on. Now, here we are. It's 2020. It's the new year. Everybody's made resolutions. Whether you believe in them or not, you've made some kind of goal in your head that you're going to crush in 2020. But how is that in your health? And what are those goals in your relationships? And like you were saying, Tim, you'd pay any amount of money to get off that couch and feel better. And you're a super healthy guy. But extrapolate this a little bit and let's talk about to the men listening about those areas of their life that, you know, that they might be not doing as well in, like their health and mm -hmm. relationships. And they're willing to pay anything to get that back. What could they do before they hit that point? Hmm. I think a key thing is taking time out. For me, it's at least once a week to review my week. Um, the reason why I think that's important is because when you give yourself space to, to just be and uh, actually contemplate how things are going in your life, in your relationships and in business and in health, you know, we use the chat of intentional living, right? Which the, the men really enjoy using because it keeps them uh, focused across all the five territories. So when they combine that with the weekly review <coughs> that, that I do, and that the men do, that we do, Doug, you know, it'll, it gives them optics, right? It gives them optics to be able to see trends and patterns before things, before they hit the iceberg, right? Um, and not only does it give them optics, but it also allows them to celebrate the wins because I think it's, it's super important. You know, as we're on this journey, the type of guys that we are, Doug, and the guys that we work with, we always say the journey is the destination, right? Because it's never ending. You know, we like to think that, okay, well, you now when we hit a million, 10 million, hire that key person, get that key system in place, that's when, you know, magically we'll stop because it will be complete. The reality is it's never going to be complete purely because we love to grow and purely because that's the nature of life, right? So I think when you actually realize that, accept it and understand the journey is the destination combined with the ability to have moments in time where you can reflect and you can stack your wins and celebrate them and also have optics to minimize ever straying too far off course. I know for me, when I don't review my week, it's very easy for me to either A, slowly repeat patterns um, I can find myself, you know, when I don't read my journal, in fact, I can remember when I first started to read my journal uh, at the end of every week, 
And I was like, holy shit, I've been writing the same thing in this thing for the past, God, I don't know, number of weeks because you just brain dump and then you can so easily just get lost and forgotten about. Um, and you don't even realize that you're just digging the same hole for yourself day after day. So, you know, having that moment in, in the week to be able to read over things and make sure you are progressing and you are actually learning the lessons um, can really help you to stay ahead of the curve and avoid getting into a position where you take things for granted. Because it's so easy, like for, for, for myself, you know, when I was saying, oh my God, I felt so ill. In that moment, I was thinking, oh God, I was just so appreciate my health. I can't wait to get back to the point where I'm waking up, I can go to the gym, I'm sleeping well. And I, I've, I, think, I don't know what it was, but it was a stomach bug or what. I've never had anything like that in my life before. And it, oh God, I, it just was so awful for a number of days. And uh, I spoke to a friend of mine who is like a health practitioner and he said, order these supplements. And I went immediately and ordered these supplements. And I'm just I'm like, what were they? Uh, I think one was a, a B12 complex and the other one was... Um, something for my liver because he thought that some of the symptoms were from the old place we lived in because there was some mold in there. Um, but the symptoms for that also corresponded to symptoms of other things and, and whatnot as well. So I'll get my uh, stool sample back this week. So I'll know more then. Um, <laughs> Give me results. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get the results back. <laughs> hopefully it'll mail the stool, the stool sample itself back to you. Yeah. Hopefully it's not the stool sample they send. Yeah. Very good point. Um, so yeah, I think it's super important to appreciate things and stay, you know, have visibility in order to um, be able to just be present with with what's going on instead of letting it, it stray. My mind's going completely blank right now, Doug. <laughs> That's okay. Think, I'll jump in. I because... think I've got about a twenty. How long was that? About a five minute, five minute span of attention right now <laughs> we'll you, in this recovery phase we'll get so, you some uh, neurotrop- neurotropics in there um, straight well, off course you just bring me back well you bring in some good you bring in some good things there tim oh, a lot of them and i think what happens is guys especially is we focus on the problem that's at a hand right it's prob especially you know got us entrepreneurs there's a problem i'm going to go attack it with a solution and what we forget at times is making sure that that problem doesn't happen, right? So Stephen Covey has the, you know, seven habits of highly effective people. He's got the four quadrants, right? And then, mm-hmm. you know, there's the urgent and not important, which a lot of us spend time in. And that's the area where things are urgent. It's everybody else's problems. And they're not really important, right? And then we have the mm-hmm. urgent and important, right? And that's what most, I think, business entrepreneurs spend their time. And then other than that, you have the not urgent, not important, which you shouldn't do anything in. And the not urgent and important, which you spend most of your time in, right? Because that's the planning phase. Now, the point of me sharing that quadrant there is most of us spend time putting out fires. Right? We've been known as the problem solver, and we we tackle the problem that's in front of us. And for like your health, and I'm just going to use that as an example, and because there's a lot of guys listening to this that are battling much bigger health problems: diabetes, cancer, heart disease all kinds of things that are prevalent in today's modern society. And most of those are preventable diseases. And they don't focus on the prevention portion because it's not a problem until it becomes one. And the same thing is with the relationship, right? There's guys listening to this right now that are going through, they're in the pit of hell right now because, you know, their relationship with their wife or their spouse isn't going well. Right? They don't want to go in. They don't want to turn the doorknob and walk into their door at their home because it's just going to be another fight. It's just going to be another problem. However, they haven't addressed the relationship with themselves or with their spouse yet. They haven't addressed it because the problem hasn't gotten big enough. Now, another way of doing this, right? We talk about health. You would say to somebody who's who's chronically obese, just really a, a real fat person, right? I'll just won't be politically correct here. A real fat person. If they're having health issues and they're telling you about it and complaining, what do you say? Well, why didn't you address this earlier, right? We can take care of your diet. We can take care of your fitness. Had you not allowed this to go on as far as you did, it wouldn't be as difficult at this point. And Tim, I think the same thing can be said for all the other areas. And that's where the weekly reflections you were mentioning comes in so handy. But also comes in handy is the, the prevention. You know, the ounce of prevention is, is worth more than a pound of cure. I think it was Benjamin Franklin that said that. 
right? What are people doing? You know, you, Tim, me, and we can talk about this. We were talking about this uh, over the week, uh, last week. What are we going to do to better ourselves, to take it to the next level? So we have optics around this. Now, I have you, I have the other guys in the brotherhood to give me optics around my life, right? That allow me to see the things that I can't see normally. But most people don't have that. And they haven't taken the time to to invest in themselves or take the time like you do for the weekly inf- re- reflection um, to really see those optics. And so they're just focusing on the problem that's in front of them. Thus, they're getting very narrow focus until it becomes a problem rather than making sure at the beginning, which is the easier thing, of doing the work and taking care of themselves in all those areas uh, before it becomes an issue. Mm, yeah. I can't remember who said it. Great man said to me, um, you know, the best time to work on work on things is when things are good. Oh, thank you. Right? I don't know who said that. I don't know why you said thank you. You said a great man. So I assumed I must have passed it on to you. But anyway, go on. <laughs> no, it was you. But you're so right. I mean, um, I reached out to I reached out to that relationship coach, you and I communication, intimacy, whatever, that you and I were were talking about. She's and awesome. it's not because things are a bad between a meal and I think they're really good, really good. Um, and I, I know there's more that available to us. And over this past year, you know, 2019, I went through this wave of being able to avoid it because quite frankly, there wasn't a problem there and things were really great. And we have a lot of fun and, you know, things are really great. Um, and then going through waves of, of having glimpses where I knew they could have, they could be deeper. Um, and I've made a commitment that this this year is going to be, I don't want to say it's going to be the year, because it's never going to end, right? Um, but I, you know, it's a priority for me to to go there with her, and I've spoken with her, and she's totally down for it as well. Now, there's been lots of ideas we've had in the past, Amelia and I, from doing salsa classes to tantra to yoga together to all sorts of different things, and we've just never we've never committed to any of them i think it's because things have always been you know so good between us so we've not it's not like we're in a position where we need to go and and fix anything or whatever um but i do realize that is also the time to work on things it really is so i'm really intrigued you know, it's easy. I don't know what the listeners may think because, you know, we do have a lot of tools, right? You know, with what we do, we've got tons of tools. And for me, one of the main reasons for reaching out to somebody and getting support is you know, I want somebody external as well to hold space for us. You know, I am not, despite having the tools, you know what it's like, Doug. You know, you can't, you can't have the tools and also be the guy that holds space for you and your wife or you and your partner to actually no. go through any kind of exploration. No way. No way. No. Um, because Amelia then won't surrender to the most degree that she could and you know, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, we, we pride ourselves on providing a fantastic service to the men and are always telling them to you know, invest in themselves, whether it's with us or whoever. And, um, it's, you know, we walk that walk as well. Right. So, um, so it is the best time to work on things is when things are going well. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You know, that's why it's important to have a coach and mentor. Everybody needs to have one. If you have, if you know a coach who doesn't have a coach, they're not eating their own cooking, right? It's ridiculous. Uh, we'd like to be a vegan barbecue chef, right? That just specializes in barbecue, but is vegan. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't match, right? They can't t- taste the rub uh, that's on there, but you're right. It's when things are good, it's easy to be complacent. When things are good enough, and even random, not great, but just good enough, you're able to get by in your relationship like you and Amelia, I know they're better than good enough, right? But when they're good, that's the time to do the work because you don't have the stresses. You don't have all the other things coming at you that you normally do. You're not putting out fires. Instead, you're building a solid foundation. So where your standard may have been at one level in those that are, that are watching this or not watching this. Imagine the level being very low, right? When you raise the standard, you can stack it when things are good and raise your standard. So I'll use you and Amelia as an example, Tim, because I know exactly the woman you're talking about. My wife and I, when things were good, we, you know, we'd done marital account. We did the whole thing. People know my story. We'd gone through a crazy marriage, right? Where it wasn't working out and we hired people. 
So what we decided to do is when things were good, that's when we hired coaches. That's when we hired people to help us out in our relationship because we wanted our new low to be our old high. I'll say that yeah, again because okay. I think it's important. We wanted our new low in our relationship because relationships are going to have highs and lows. We're human. But we wanted our, our new low to be our old high. So when we hit that low period in our relationship, it's what used to be our high, right? And so now we can build above that. And the time to do that is when things are good, right? Now, of course, you can do them when things aren't good as well. You should. But this goes for all the guys listening, right? This is why we're, we're, we're so into this. And I was talking to a business owner, Tim, that you know, John, and I uh, was having a beer with him over here and we're chatting and he was talking about joining the brotherhood and he's like, Doug, my, you know, since the activation method, my relationships are through the roof. My business is growing exponentially. Yeah. My health is, is, is dialed in and he's like, things are better than they've ever been. And you know, and I said, John, this is the time that you need to double down on, on your besting in yourself because what mm -hmm. happens inevitably, we've seen this happen with everybody and guys listening to this, you know, people in your life, this has happened to, Things are going great until they're not. And then yeah, that's as good as they get. It's as good as they get, right? So now you, what you do is you double down at this time. The new year is a great time to do that. You double down. You do something like the activation method. You do something else up to you, right? Um, I'm biased for sure. But you do something. You double down on yourself. And then when things happen, because they do, welcome to, welcome to being a human, right? When they do happen, when they go down, your new low is your old high and you build upon that and you keep building up there. So it goes for the areas like we talked about at the beginning of this. You, you said, Tim, I would pay anything to have my health and you, you do well. You're financially, you do really well. So for you to say that, that's a lot of money you're going to contribute. I know you're talking that metaphorically, but when you're, you're feeling down in your health, you pay anything, right? So if a guy's listening to this and his health isn't good, get a personal trainer, get a nutritionist, have meal delivery. Don't worry about what it costs. You'll figure it out. You always have, my guess is guys, listen, it's your bank account's been the same for years. Whatever's in your bank, you could get paid more, but your bank account is probably the same. Double down on your health. If your relationships aren't working, right? If your relationship with yourself isn't working, double down, get into the activation method today, not tomorrow, not next week, today, right? Double down on yourself. If you're not doing well in the area of finance, Double down, get a coach that can help you with finance, right? It's not the thing that we specialize in right here at the activation method. That's not what we teach. So go get somebody who specializes in this area. Double down, right? Get optics on yourself, gentlemen. Nobody can take away your growth. You can take away a lot of things in your life. They can't take away your own personal growth. And when things are good, this is the time you really want to push the gas and move forward. It's kind of like why you hear those stories of the millionaires or billionaires that lose it all and get it all back within, you know, a few years because they can't take away. They may have lost things physically or materialistically, yeah. you know. It's also their they never lost their were. Yeah, exactly. It's standards, yeah, totally, right? You know, it's, it's the same for me. Like what with Amelia, you know, what might have been an 8, 9, 10 for us previously because – now standards of raise is now a four, five, six, yeah. right? You know, and I'm wondering, well, what is the new ten? You know, I know there's, I know there's more there for us for sure, um, and I can feel it. You know, when you feel it, it's, and it's exciting feeling. It's not a, it's not coming from a place of holy shit. I've got to figure this out, otherwise I'm going to leave. And it's like this is exciting. There's, I can see this. It's like a pool that I'm just, I can see, and I'm, I just want to dive into um so so yeah but it really is a time to work on it and if things aren't good right now then <laughs> it's, it's doubly the time to work on it so you can get to that point and then you know fly on to the next level yeah it's the best time you know an analogy i'll use to, to, to further drive this point home to the guys listening especially is every man knows the best time to invest in the stock market right in the markets are when the markets crash and they go low because everybody else panics and they go crazy and they start selling, it's the best time to get in and buy. The same thing with your personal growth, right? When things are going wrong, everybody's panicking, right? What you wanna do is invest in your personal self during those times when things are good, things are riding out. We wanna have a constant investment going in to who you are, 
rather than diving in through the frenzy when things are going crazy in your life. Because when things go crazy, you don't think as rationally. I, I know most people listening to this are like, no, Doug, I, I, I think differently than that. I've got this dialed in. Well, that's not true, right? It's not true or you wouldn't be listening to this podcast. That's just, it's just straight up, right? You know that you're ready for more. That's why you're here. You know you're ready for growth. Double down now so you're not having that conversation of I would give anything to have X, Y, Z back, right? Mm. Keep it and get more. <laughs> Keep mm -hmm. the revenue you have coming in. Get more. Keep the relationships you have. Make them better. Get more. Keep your health. Get better. Get healthier. Maintain it, right? This is the standard, right? This is your standard for 2020, but also 2040, guys, right? Keep these standards high. And as Tim, as you said, the reason, you know, billionaire loses, the, loses their money Right, it happens all the time. They go bankrupt and they get a billion dollars quickly. Is they have the knowledge, they have the psychology to do it, and their standard is I'm a billionaire. Right, this is my low, is being a billionaire, and so they always rise up to their low, and that's why again you double down when things are going rough, or before they're going rough. Mm -hmm. I love it. So Tim, what are a couple things you want to leave these guys with uh, for this episode in the new year? Hmm. Have out some time every week to be doing your weekly review. Um, obviously, we give the guys a routine to be able to do that, so you'll have to come up with your own, but whatever that looks like, you know, just have out some time and, and make sure that is a priority. Um, challenge yourself. You know, find what your edge is with it. Where is your edge currently? And how close are you to it? And uh, what if you could move that edge? And what if you could move that line? Just, you know, just a little bit across. What would that mean? Would that mean that there's a gap that you get to step into? And um, start to just explore what would it look like if you actually stepped to the edge and started playing on your edge a lot more. Well, not even a lot more, just that a little bit more. What might life then look like for you? Um, you know, regardless of whether things are good or, or not so good for you right now, find out where your edge is and go there. And um, if that means, you know, investing with us, then awesome. I you know, think you should, obviously. <laughs> if it doesn't, then cool. As long as you do something, don't be the guy that listens to this, you know, and just continues to listen and listen and listen and listen. And, you know, like I did at one time, write the same thing in my journal over and over. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be in that place. It's, it's not good. It's not a good place to be. If you want to live up to your potential as a man, father, husband, business owner, if you don't want to live up to your potential, then that's cool. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Ooh, that's harsh because nobody out there doesn't want to live up to their potential. Love it. Words of wisdom from Tim himself. Well, Tim, glad you're feeling better uh, and glad to have you back, man. Missed you on there. It's not like not having you on top, in top form. So good to have you back, man. Uh, thank you. Gentlemen, that's it for another episode of The Powerful Man Show. As always, join us over in the Facebook group if you'd like. And until next time, we'll see you again. Mm -hmm.